He was quite detailed about uh, the history of the, this uh, illness, uh, the recent history, I should say. But of course, uh, in Japan, it's well known that uh, that this exact same illness caused him to cut his first premiership short. So he came to power in 2006 when he was uh, Japan's youngest post-war prime minister. And that uh, premiership ended only a year later in 2007 because of this, uh, this bowel problem. Uh, he came back to power in 2012, and he's had, actually, by Japanese standards, a pretty long run of uh, eight years. Uh, and uh, now, of course, he uh, gave details about uh, uh, these hospital visits, how the uh, his bowel condition has clearly become more aggravated, and he couldn't really focus uh, on the job anymore, uh, essentially, or not do it, uh, not give it, it the full attention that it needed. And that's why he said he's decided to resign uh, just over a year uh, short of the end of his term. So more than a decade in power, on and off, how would you yeah. characterise Shinzo Abe's spell in power? Well, as our, as our correspondent in Tokyo was saying, a lot of his... Uh, his uh, his goals w were not achieved, and even before the virus, which of course has upended things in many countries, his economic policy was in trouble already. Uh, this uh, abenomics, as it was called, of uh, e uh, monetary easing, spending more money, uh, reducing some bureaucratic obstacles to businesses and things like that, uh, all this was not really, according to many analysts, yielding the results that uh, he wanted even before uh, the pandemic. Pandemic. Uh, on the international front, it was interesting to hear him express a few regrets uh, in this press conference. He m mentioned three things specifically, uh, uh, that he couldn't resolve the issue of Japanese nationals abducted by North Korean uh, secret agents. Uh, he also reg said he regretted not uh, reaching a peace treaty with Russia over disputed islands in the north, and also that he could not push through uh, constitutional uh, changes to amend the pacifist constitution which has been in place in Japan uh, since the end of uh, World War II. But it has to be said, Laura, all these are very intractable issues, and it's not as if his successor is suddenly going to be able to solve those issues, particularly not uh, as the successor is only uh, going to be in place for the remainder of Abe's term, which, as I said, goes up only until September 2021.